Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Okay, so before we get started, everything I say in this video is my opinion, mine alone. Please feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. With that being said, let's do this. Okay, so there was two videos brought out recently. Or three. Maybe more. I don't know. That have really made me laugh. There's been those that Yaya's put out, some that she's, one that she's privated, and there's been the ones that Rodog brought out. Now we're going to look at Rodog first. Recently Rodog got doxxed. If you keep slinging, Maddie's going to come back at you one day. And his nasty have certainly come back. What can you say? But along with being really, really cheesed off about what Raycan, for people who don't know Raycan, Raycan is OG from the anti KJ community. She is very, very much respected in the anti KJ community. And she knows how to get her hands on shit too. She's proven that a couple of times now. But. Rodog is not happy about her. I doubt he would be either. But he said a few things that I wanted to address. First of all he said he was going to do better in 2022. So what are you saying, Rodog? That everybody has to fall in line so that you do better. You deleted all of your stuff where you're going after people. All of the real nasty stuff you've deleted or privated. So when you go to the place to talk about Reagan, is that deleted or is it private so the officers can still see it? I would imagine it's deleted. The amount of people that you attacked. You say you never attacked anyone that you didn't have good reason to. And when you criticise somebody... They have no right to talk about you. Because you went after Bobby for posting a video about you. And Bobby said something along the lines of he would rather take the crap than leave your wife take it. Then you went on to say that he is insinuating that you hurt your wife. There is a reason for this, Roadhog. Go back and look at your wife's videos. She talks about asking you for permission. Permission to put things in a video. Now, I can assure you that I would never have to ask my husband for permission. Whether I was talking about our family, him, me, that wouldn't even cross my mind. But clearly it crossed your wife's. And Bobby was concerned by that. Great person. Whoever is behind Bobby the cat. You said you got shamed for ha ask for getting help in a pandemic. But didn't you claim that AZ was in Section 8 housing? Getting government shoes? So isn't that shaming for asking for help? 
whether she did or not is another matter, but um, you said it. But nobody could say nothing about you. You're not afraid of um, raking. And just because she has connections, you're just trying to protect your family. Well, so is everyone else who you drag through the mud. The people you claimed had a mouthful of male body parts. The people you accused of being addicts. You asked when you crossed the line. How about when you demanded every bit of information people could get on Bobby? Or Alice? Or Yaya? You wanted anything anyone could get you. Now you're saying that you weren't asking for the dogs. So what was you asking for? Because you was offering $50 in Amazon vouchers to know who Bobby the Cat is. Who Alice is. Now there is only one. One response to that. And you wanted their documents. And yes, Reagan did dog Charlotte. That is true. That was remember a year ago. You mentioned that he's not in England. Of course not. Of course he's not in England. In England you can't get police records or police files. They're not public record. In England we don't have that ability to go to the police station and get someone's public police records. Only in the states that I know of. You also said that um, Reagan is giving you ultimatums and being a bully. Isn't that exactly what you've been doing to people, is bullying them? Dragging them through the mud. With all the accusations that you've thrown around. Oh, and Reagan's big secret. So big. Such a big secret. Probably most people know about it already by now. And did before you mentioned it. That um, Sol's asked her not to talk about KJ. Because he needs her. I doubt you're the first one to find that out. But sitting here watching you panic. Because Reagan can get your information. Just because you decided that in the past two weeks you've tried to do better. That everybody else has to fall in line. Life doesn't work that way. And nobody's going to just forget about what you've done in 2021 in two weeks. You did a lot of damage to people's lives. Myself included. How do you think it felt when my daughter, my son, called me up and said, why is this guy calling you an addict? Why is this guy say you're talking with a mouthful of male body parts? But you're the one getting bullied, you know. And nobody, literally nobody has said Regan is any better or any worse than you. Not that I've heard anyway. Neither is Rekan.
So you sit there and you act like you're so hard done by. And everything you've done to other people has not been anywhere near what Reagan is doing to you. No, you've done different things to people. Doesn't make it worse or better. It just says how nasty you are. But I've known about Reagan for a long time. And I know that she is persistent. So I can't see this fighting out overnight. Anyways, Yaya's video. Just as interesting, just as exciting. So yeah, it comes on with a video that is labelled Blind Loyalty. She talks about Maz leaving the community. And I'm going to address Maz in one comment. Maz should not leave the community. If she has, she needs to come back. People like her a lot. People respect her. People have a lot of respect for Maz. She may have got caught up in Yaya's BS. But people know that the only thing Maz was probably doing is trying to help. I haven't seen one person badmouth Maz about what's been going on. I have seen a lot of support from Maz and asking her not to leave, including myself. And I honestly, honestly hope that she comes back. So the title, Blind Loyalty. Blind Loyalty to who, Yaya? Blind Loyalty to you, to AZ, to myself. I don't ask anyone for blind loyalty. I ask that people hear me out if I say something that might confuse or upset them. I don't demand that people follow my every whim. I don't expect people to agree with everything I say. you do and within 15 minutes of that video you blocked one person and the reason you blocked island mom was because she asked you why did you drag az your response to that was when did i drag az well i'm going to tell you when you dragged az since you clearly can't remember you was talking to Maz on a call and Maz was on a live stream with Christ Conflict and these nasty vile words came out of your mouth. I want to say to her that Rodog broke you bitch and you reek of it. Wow. Wow, yeah, yeah. So do you know what? That was the most vile, the most vile that I've ever seen anything come from you. I swear to God, my jaw hit the floor. My jaw hit the floor so fucking hard that I didn't know what to say.
Rodar broke you, bitch. You reek of it. That's why you wanted to say to Aziana. And you really passionately wanted to say that to Aziana. But you really screwed up being on a call to a mess was on a live stream, didn't you? Let's have a look at real with the hogs now. There may be people who disagree with me. But that's okay. People are allowed to. But I think you've done the right thing. If there was a real threat to their lives. Then you did the right thing. But what you should have actually done. Because you're supposed to be a police officer. And as a police officer you would. You would automatically become a mandate reporter. This means if someone came to you and told you they were going to have someone's life taken from them, this means you would have to go to your superior officer and report it. This also means that if you see anything along the lines of child cruelty, then you would be mandated to report that to the police to your superior officer and to CPS. Now I had to explain that to you. Anybody who works in a police force would already know that. They wouldn't need that explained to them. And that is why I do not think you're a police officer. You also claimed that I doxed you. And you know exactly what I said. I said I know where you work. But guess where you are, yeah? I don't know where you work. Firstly, I do not believe you're a police officer. Secondly, what you told me was on the police station. But me saying I know where you work ain't doxing you. Get over it. How many times are you going to say you were invited up on the Hogs channel? 10, 20, 30. Guess what you are, yeah? No one cares. Get over it. Nobody cares. You claim to not be friends with the Hogs yet. The second time you went up on the panel, you were up there for over an hour. If you weren't friends, you would have got everything said and done and left. Not that I care. Not that it affects me in any way whatsoever. Because I'm over it. But sadly you ain't. You could make up any lies you want. I know the truth. You know the truth. And these lies don't cut her. And I ain't going to sit here and argue with you because that's taking up too much of my time. And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to waste another moment on you. Julian Real. In your last video that is still up. Thank God. For how long, I don't know. You said that it was okay for real to test you, but not for you to test Julie. No one's saying that. 
if real tested you, then that was wrong. But what you did to Julie, you didn't just test her. You tested her, then you called her up on panel. In front of how many people? 60, 80, more. And you humiliated her. You made that girl feel about that big. Whilst you told her that you knew. Because you'd lied to her. Because you tested her. That girl couldn't get off that panel quick enough. Because of how much you humiliated her. You nasty, evil piece of... And that is all you are. And that is due to what you said about AZ. What you did to Julie. You and then you then went on when Julie got off panel to say my heart said I'd done the right thing. Humiliating that poor girl in front of all those people when you have spoken to her so many times in DMs. How much lower could you go? You make me sick. In the video you deleted, you told people if they wanted more information to contact the detectives. And then you ended your stream. And do you know why you ended your stream, Yaya? Because people were in the comments saying to you that everyone's confused because you can't keep your facts straight. And you couldn't. You changed your answer so many times in one live stream that you literally had to private it because people were calling you out. There was a time I thought I'd lost a friend. But with the things that you've done and said to Julie about Daisy, I wouldn't want to be friends with someone who's like that. And if people are going back and look at your Julie G interview, when I say interview, I should say um, stripping. What was it? Double barrel, baby. <laughs> what? That was a joke, right? Because even my six-year-old would be too mature to do that. You made yourself look like such an idiot when you did that. I wouldn't be friends with someone who speaks about people the way you do. The way you tried to drag Selfie Queen Cindy when she's been talking about things that she's been through and experienced that you know nothing about she 
she has more life experience than you have knowledge on these things. But you had to try one up her, didn't you? You had to try to be better. But again, you just made yourself look a fool. That is not the type of person I want to be friends with. So no, I didn't lose a friend. My eyes were open and I seen who you really were. And that is not someone I would like a friendship with. So I've hit on all the points I've wanted to about these two videos. Both ridiculous. Both need to give their heads a wobble. And take a good long look in the mirror. But they're just going to blame everybody else for their mistakes. And they won't see the things that they've done wrong, only what's been done to them. Because that's what people who are self-absorbed do. They only see what has been done to them. And not what has been done by them. So with that I'm going to say goodnight. And I shall see you in the next video. Have a fantastic night, day, wherever you are in the world. Try not to end up being like these people. Bye all.